today i show you how to set up the new ipad pro m5 this is the 13 inch model and first thing you have to do is first thing you have to do when you want to set up any ipad is you need to start it any device really so long press on the power button here and now the ipad is starting this might take a while here but here i'm already If the iPad is powered on but it's not showing you the setup screen, all you have to do is swipe up from below here and then you get the setup steps. And I will set it up. You can set up your iPad as a new device or you can use your iPhone to get the account information from your iPhone to your iPad. I will do the setup as a new device here and I choose English. You can choose any language you want. And then you can choose the region. So for region, I choose raw. It's going to change to German now. Okay. Here I could choose, you could change this later anyway, but I'll choose here Cyprus. I want the language to be English, so okay, appearance. And I could choose the appearance of the iPad and choose the size of the screen. I think I could choose default, I could change it later. Yeah, default looks default looks okay to me, so continue. And I got a pop-up on my iPhone as soon as it this thing showed up. I get a pop-up that I can continue set up a new iPad for my Apple account. Yeah. I could do it like this now. I will choose to set up without another device. Let's follow the steps normally. And then I would have to choose a Wi-Fi password. Maybe it was a better idea to use this, but yeah, let's keep this for now. I entered the password and I hope it's right. Let's see. Hopefully I don't have to type it again. Okay. Okay, so it's joined the network and I can it the iPad joined the iPad the iPad it joined the network and it's connected here. You can see the Wi-Fi and still 78%. And the time is wrong, 7:37 a.m. But I guess it will synchronize. Press continue. And it's going to try to activate the iPad. It's going to contact the Apple servers and it should activate it. And I could do the update now or I could do it later. I will update later. And here you have to read about data privacy, continue. You will not be able to use the iPad if, if you're not accepting it. And I have to choose an age range. This will be used for the parental controls. That's pretty good. Choose adult. And I can also do a setup for face ID. I could continue now. So to set up face ID, I will show my face. So this is my face now. Okay. So it got the face ID. Hopefully it's right. I have to do it again. Yeah, the way it looks like. Yeah, so I have to create a passcode. And it's, it's thinking, it's processing. So, okay, transfer apps and data from iCloud backup from another iPad, from Mac or PC or from Android. And for now, I could don't transfer anything. I have apps on my iPhone, but they might not be the apps I want to have on the iPad. So it's going to be maybe from iCloud backup if you already, if you restore it, but don't transfer anything. And here I have to sign in with my Apple account and I will use my Apple account here. Enter the username and then press enter. So I have to enter the password also. I enter the password and press continue. And here I'm ready to continue to sign in. So continue and then 
I might get a notification. So on my iPhone, I got a notification that I should allow or not allow. And then this, I get this code, 641589. I get the code. Now with the code, if you don't have an iPhone already, it might send this code as an SMS or as an email. So already it's signing in. It's, I have to agree to the terms and conditions. And now it got my name and it's going to set up the iPad for my Apple account. And yeah, that's pretty much how it is. The iPad can, the iPad can rotate. You can rotate it and you can also charge it. This is the USB-C port for charging. And this might take a bit of time and you have to be really patient with it because it's going to download things from the internet. And later on, you will have to also do updates on it. Yeah. So update iPad automatically. I could choose only download. I prefer to know when I'm installing the, the, the updates. Turn on location services, OK. On my iPhone, I got a notification that there is a new device added to my account. So that's really good to know that there is a device added to my account. And I could set up Apple Pay. I guess I could set up like this. I have the Revolut card, the Visa card from Bank of Cyprus and the Salt Bank. This is the Salt Bank Platinum card for Romania. I like this a lot. So yeah, now continue. Yeah, I have to add the CVC later, so I will not I will not do this now. Add this card later. Add this card later and the same later. Because I don't want to go through the cards now. Screen time, get a weekly report. OK, continue. These are it's good to have some information. And this part I have to this part you have to read and decide if you want to share with Apple or you don't want to share. This is analytics to improve the iOS 26 and further. I choose don't share for the moment and light or dark display. Here you have to choose if you want to have a light display or dark. I like to have the dark theme on any device, but you could also have it set to auto. So if it's dark, if it's nighttime, it will have dark mode. Or if it's during the day, you could have light mode. I choose dark mode because dark theme. In general, dark is what I prefer. So the screen, which is in this case, is a nice OLED display or AMOLED, I'm not sure. But it's always better to have this. It will also, from what I understand, reduce the battery consumption. So I always like to see that. I choose the dark mode, continue. And here you have options about Apple intelligence. I could set up Apple intelligence. Okay, notifications summarized and okay. So I guess to summarize the news and entertainment, communication and social, but leave the other apps as they are. And yeah, summarize. Priority notifications to enable it. I prefer to have this. I got a few priority notifications on the iPhone and that was pretty nice. Multitasking, I could see full screen apps or full screen and windowed apps. I like to have this option, especially because in iOS 26 now you have it like you can have apps with Windows, just like a regular Mac or Windows computer. So choose windowed apps, press continue. And now the iPad is almost ready to use so get started this is the ipad it's ready to use i choose it's going to ask me for location option i choose precise off you can have precise on or off i choose it off now and and then allow while using the app and this is the ipad is ready to use i could look at the pictures there are no pictures and there might be some pictures from iCloud. I'm not sure if I have any pictures in iCloud. I don't have any. But yeah, I have here notes. The notes should be synchronized with iCloud. 
So all the notes I have on the iPhone should be also synchronized now with the iPad, which is going to be pretty nice. I can have notes edited like this. I can have notes edited on the iPad and this is the last and that's the latest note I have. This is a referral link for Salt Bank. And yeah, the notes, any change I make now on the iPad will also get synchronized to the iPhone and back. So that's going to be very convenient. And you can install apps. You can go to the App Store. And in the App Store, I have to agree. So yeah. I have to turn off personalized ads. You can turn on personalized ads because they, they might show you something interesting. But for example, the most important thing I want to search for here is the DaVinci Resolve. And I have here, this is the video editing app for iPad and I press get. You don't have to use this app. This is just something I would like to use to make things easier on the iPad to edit videos on the iPad, which is going to be nice, pretty nice. Apple Pay is ready to be set up. Okay, not now. So confirm with button. It asks me, I have to do a double tap, double click. Face ID. Okay, I have to use the face ID. Okay, so I have to use the face ID. I try to show my face to it. Okay, I have to confirm it now. And the face ID, I think I showed my face to it now, the same way. The same way as before. Come on. Yeah, so it's installing now. You see it's installing. Some apps will take longer to install. Some apps will take longer to install, but many apps will be pretty small, so they won't have any issues installing. This iPad is really, it's so thin, really. It's unbelievable. It's very thin. It's like uh, half, half of the nail. Yeah, it's... Uh, and it's light, actually also light, pretty light and thin. Perfect. And it's rotating automatically. So I have another thing for Resolve. I have the Pencil Pro and also I have the Pencil Pro. Also, I want to use this with the iPad and I also want to use the DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor. But this is just my this is just my use case for this. That's an example of how to install an app. You can install any app from the App Store. So I can go back. I could go back and install. You can find really any apps that you might want. So on the apps, I can find the most popular apps for iPad. For example, YouTube. That's a really important app to install. And I already have it on my account. So all I have to do is press on this Get button and it didn't ask me for face ID or confirmation or this time but yeah that's how you also install the YouTube app and that's going to be a lot faster if you want to find the app this is where it is and also if you want to move the app to the main page you long press on the app and then move it to the main page like this this is the jiggle mode Okay, so this is now YouTube is installed, but it's not showing anything because I'm not signed in. You have all this information here, all the location data, weather, widgets, notes and everything. So yeah, I hope this helps you set up your iPad how you want it. You can also check the settings So here. For example, I go into the settings and I could I could go into about. And there you see the information of the iPad and it's iOS 26, iPad Pro, iPad Pro 13 inch. That's the model number. And if you want to see the actual model number, you tap on it. 
A3360 or A3360 and the serial number, hopefully the serial number is not going to be a problem to show it. I have to register it or I'm not sure. I think it's already registered because I logged in with the Apple account. And there is also the limited warranty which expires on its one year from now. And that's how that's how it works. One year. And that's how they you, you can you can get Apple Care for extra warranty, but I don't really I don't really care about that much. You can connect to other Wi-Fi networks if you want. You can connect to Bluetooth devices, headphones, checking the battery information. This is a bit early for that. I can set up Apple Pencil. The Apple Pencil should be pretty simple, straightforward to set up, especially just you have to bring it closer when it's already set up. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you set up your new iPad Pro 13 inch M5. So this is the iPad, iPad Pro M5 13 inch. It's the 256 model. I forgot to show you here. So this is the 256. So when you get the 256 model, as you install it, you have 221 gigabytes free. And this is because also 3.8 gigabytes is DaVinci Resolve. So you'll have even more. It's going to be like 2, 225 almost. So yeah. 200, 225 approximately you will have free from the 256 that the original iPad has and I think I don't need much more. If I need more storage space I can plug in an external SSD like the Samsung T7 Shield so or any other fast SSD into the port, into the USB port directly. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you set up your iPad and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.